Hi guys, I'm Jack Wong and welcome to Why This Print Fail. Today's video, we will be talking about the failure that is definitely spoiling the looks of your 3D printed part. Let's take a close look on the printed part that I have done yesterday. I bet someone is leaving the scratching marks on my printed parts. Was it a cat? Well, the marks are so clean and neat, maybe it wasn't a cat. So, after some investigations, I finally found out the reasons behind the happening of this failure and gathered some solutions on how to solve it. The main idea for the happening of this problem is the nozzle head that is scratching across your freshly printed surface. Most of the time, this problem exists all along the duration of the printing. However, we will only be noticing about the one on the top surface as the other layers being covered by each newly added layer. So, without further ado, let us go through all the possible reasons that could cause this to happen as well as its solutions. The first reason that might cause the nozzle scratching problem is a faulty or loose extruder carriage. A loosely hanged extruder will cause the nozzle to drag along the printer surface during the printing. The hot nozzle will melt the materials at the printed part causing the visible scratch mark on the skin layer. To check if your carriage is in good condition, you can raise your Z axis and gently shake the carriage up and down. The carriage should remain firm and not shaky by your movement. If you observe any shaking movement of the carriage, this might indicate that your carriage holder is faulty or loose. By tightening the extruder carriage, we can easily stop the nozzle from scratching over the surface. The second reason that might cause the nozzle to scratch over the surface will be over extruded materials. When excessive materials are being extruded to the surface, the excessive materials will be bulged and form higher layer height. The excessive height of the layer will be scratched by the nozzles during the printing. The material flow will become excessive due to several reasons such as too high printing temperature, too high flow rate or improper bed leveling. So, if you suspect this to be the reasons, you can easily solve it by slightly reduce the printing temperature or flow rate and make a thorough bed leveling for your printing. The third reason that might also cause this scratching problem will be the weak Z axis stepper motor. If the Z axis stepper motor is not strong enough to maintain the height of the extruder's gantry, the nozzle will not be fully lifted, causing it to sink and scratch over the skin of your printer part. A weak Z axis stepper motor might cause by a faulty stepper motor or improper setting of the current limit at the motor drivers. These problems can be solved by changing to a stronger Z axis stepper motor or properly adjusting the current limit at the motor drivers. This type of problem mainly appear in homemade or specially designed 3D printers. Most standard commercial 3D printers are designed with suitable Z-axis motor and the optimum current limit at the motor driver. Because you might fright your 3D printer's driver, we strongly suggest that you do not try to tune the drivers yourself unless you are extremely confident and know clearly about what you are going to do. The fourth reason that might contribute to the happening of this problem will be the unsmooth movement of the Z axis, also known as bending effect. Because the movement of the Z axis is not smooth, the height of the extruder gantry might not be able to reach fully, thus causing the nozzle to scratch over the surface of the printer part. This problem will happen if your 3D printer structure is skewed or the Z-axis road is not parallel to the Z-axis bar. In order to solve this problem, you will need to readjust the structure of your 3D printer and make sure that the extruder gantry is able to move smoothly along the Z-axis. If you think that the above reasons are not the cases for you, 
do not worry. We also prepare some simple and useful slicer setting tricks which you can use to solve your problem just by simple clicks. First setting that you can enable for your printing is the Z hopping option. By enable this Z hopping option, you are telling the 3D printer to lift its extruder every time before moving on to the next layer. This will make sure that the nozzle to be lifted and not scratching along its traveling path. The time taken for the printing will be slightly increased as a small drawback to this function. The second setting that you can implement to avoid scratches marks is by setting the combing option to not in skin or within infill. You can find this setting under the travel sections. Next, remember to tick on the avoid printed parts when traveling. This setting will try its best to stop the nozzle from traveling across the screen of your printed part thus avoiding the possibility of the nozzle to scratch the surface of your 3D printed part. We strongly recommend you to get this setting on for most of your printing for better surface quality. The third setting that you can implement is the ironing feature in the slicer. An ironing feature works to melt down small height of the layer and wipe them in patterns using the heated nozzle. This will cause a smooth ironing effect at the surface of the layers which can cover the scratching marks at the surface. You can choose to enable the ironing setting only at the topmost surface so that you get its ironing effect while sacrificing less printing time. Lastly, by combining the advisors above, we decided to reprint the 3D parts from the beginning of this video. Let us look at the result. It looks far better than the one that we are printed earlier. We are also able to eliminate the scratches mark at the printed surface. So, this is the end of this video. We hope that you are able to get your perfect surface printing too. If you think that this video is helpful, please like, subscribe and share it to your friends. You might be their savior in the journey of 3D printing. As always, thanks and happy printing.